and welcome to another Melcat Gin Review. And tonight we are reviewing this agave gin that we found in Moore Wilson's. Yes. Yes. We found Moore Wilson's. Yes. It was recommended to it us. It was recommended. And my first thought is, uh, is it a gin or is it a tequila? It says it is an Old Tom style gin with agave in it. Before there was London Dry, there was Old Tom and it's a coarser, less refined style gin. It was the original gins that were made in England and then as still technology developed and they were able to produce better alcohol, it became London Dry. So we're expecting it to not be as complex, perhaps a little sweeter, a little coarser. And then it's got the agave in it and it is also aged for three months in American oak. So there's a lot going on there, I think. We just have a, yeah. have a go. Wow, okay. So it's smoky. I'm getting the oak flavors. I'm also getting a really, for want of a better word, tequila smell. I'm not getting too much in the way of juniper. From here I can smell banana, which is kind of odd. Here we go. Wow. I'm not a big tequila drinker, although I do <laughs> like tequila liqueur, the one that comes in the green bottle. Oh, I like yeah. cocktails made oh, with... Agavera. Yeah, that's yummy. It's quite interesting. The taste palette it sort of lines up pretty well with the smell. It's quite smoky. You can taste the oak. So you have coffee and lime in it. And I get a little coffee. Yeah, it's not harsh like a tequila. Although if you get a good, a good quality tequila, then uh, they're not harsh, are they? It's quite interesting. Mm. It would be interesting if people have recommendations on good tequilas. Yeah, I've got that. We're a tequila page. No, but hey. Yeah, we're going to try. It's also forty-five percent, so that's why it's. Perhaps not for the faint-hearted. Yeah, mm. we've st tried stronger gins, but it's definitely got a lot of flavour to it. It has. Mm. Boozy. Yeah. It's a boozy. Yeah. Sure. So let's try it as a gin and tonic. I'm actually not expecting great things of it as a gin and tonic, but here we are. Yeah, probably just as well as wasn't expecting great things of it as a GNT. No. It's actually not pleasant as a GNT. I actually didn't mind just sipping it straight. I think, I think if you're a whiskey drinker, you might enjoy it. As a gin and tonic, or no, straight? no, as a, as just as a sipping spirit. Mm. Interesting one. Look, it's just an experiment. I'm not gonna say rush out and buy a bottle. Certainly not if your favourite tipple is a GNT. It was not pleasant with tonic. I don't mind it sipping it straight. It's kind of smoky and and woody. So it's got whiskey characteristics. Do you think you could do something with it like that old square drink that you had the other night that oh, could yeah. make a good cocktail? Yeah, whiskey sour. Yeah, agave gin yeah. sour. The agave gin sour, mm. um, something like that, an old fashioned. Could work quite well on something like that. You could try it to jazz up a Negroni. You could have it as your, what's the word I'm thinking of, when you have a cold? Oh, a hot toddy. A hot toddy. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. You didn't enjoy the odd hot toddy during COVID. Yeah. Hence the fact we've not had any videos for a while. <laughs> yes. Technical issues in COVID. Yeah. If you're a hardcore Scotch fan, this isn't going to replace your uh, your single malts. But if you enjoy something a little bit different, I actually quite enjoyed it straight. Even actually with the tonic, it's, if you lose your expectations, <laughs> it's you not, it's war, uh, low, yeah. <laughs> go, go with different expectations. Yeah. It's warming on me. Yeah. yeah, I think this could be interesting to play around with, with in the odd cocktail. So we might um, we might experiment and see what we can come up with. Interesting and different is how I would describe it. Mm. Anyway, gin is is it a gin? Still not convinced. Gin is a win. 